Okay, hello guys. Um, today I just wanted to um, do a proper patch from scratch, explaining the way that I personally like to use LFOs and a quantizer if needed to create sequences, uh, some sort of uh, semi-random sequences. So basically the first thing I like to do is to have control over the tempo, so I'm going to use either a clock generator like this or an LFO like this to get a main uh, beat, a main tempo. So I'm going to use this for today and I'm going to use the trigger divider so I can have different subdivisions of the time. Now second thing of course is the LFO. So we can use like, um, well first of all let's hear this LFO. I'm going to uh, use one of these uh, uh, this, um, VCO here like the, the the square wave so this is the wave hope you can hear it and the LFO with the square wave it sounds like this roughly it's a very high pitched it's just uh, up and down very very boring so uh, first of all, what I want to do with this LFO is to be able, since this is resettable, I want to reset. So I will sync it, kind of sync it to the original tempo. I'm going to use this subdivision here. Sounds okay. Now, we don't want to hear this for now. Uh, so the first thing I want to do... Uh, with the uh, with the with this LFO signal is instead of just going straight into the VCO, of course, I need to mix this with another LFO. So I'm going to use this uh, uh, mixer here that can be CV controlled. So basically, there are four. There are like four VCAs that are that all have a some output as well. So I'm going to put a batch of this into the first one, and I'm going to take the uh, sum output into our VCO. The result should be the same. Second, let's take another, <coughs> sorry, another VCO. So I can take either another square wave and have it running completely free without syncing it. We have already a sort of sequence. The fun is to find the right the sweet spot. Doesn't sound good at all anyway. So I want to take this. First of all, let's quantize it. Speed up the main tempo. The pitch is too high. So what I want to do is attenuate the whole signal this cable get that yes okay so when the the two LFOs uh, go both down below zero uh, you basically hear the main um, tuning the main note of, of the of the VCO before it gets modulated. Now another thing I can do is use another subdivision, the fast one, for example, to control the quantizer. So it quantizes the tempo as well. You can hear is more 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 accurate in terms of how uh, when the notes come in. Now, a good thing that this one has also a trigger out, which with we can control an ADSR, and the ADSR will control a, a VCA, and we can send this into the VCA, and then from the VCA back into the input, and let's hear it. 
Right, now the trigger out of the quantizer is controlling the ADSR. And now it's much more easier to fiddle with the with the knobs here. And yeah, here it is. A kind of a sequence that's continuous. It's nice. I think it's nice. And it changes sometimes, you hear? There's a randomness in it. at something weird like a, a triangle waveform the triangle doesn't um, doesn't step up and down uh, drastically like like a square wave but it's smooth it's linear so being linear it, you can hear that it acts like a, a, a pitch shifter. Well, if we use another, um, this is a square wave again. Now we have three LFOs mixed together. And again, the whole thing goes through an attenuator so we can. We can regulate the range of the pitch from very, very low. So it will just, uh, the, the quantizer would just read uh, no more than three or four notes, I think a very long, uh, a very quite wide range, so you can hear from the low note up to the very high pitched ones. Very interesting, and you can change the sequence and get something really new and unexpected uh, just uh, by tweaking the knobs. Alright, that's all folks. Thank you for watching.